12 years ago, I bought my very first gardening book, Square Foot Gardening by Mel Bartholomew. And I read it cover to cover. After reading that book, I thought to myself, I think I can do this. His book really demystified the process of gardening. It took out a lot of the complicated things that I wasn't quite sure how to do. So I'm gonna tell you today some of those reasons why I love square foot gardening. And if you're just getting started gardening, it is a great way to begin. And 12 years later, it's still the method that I use and love in my very own garden. One important principle about square foot gardening is to start small. A four foot by four foot raised bed is a great place to begin. And it's not hard, it's not expensive, it's not complicated to just simply start with a four foot garden bed. This is one of my very first garden beds. I went to Home Depot, asked them to cut the wood, screwed it in together, and I can't tell you how much food has been grown in this four by four foot space. Starting out with just one bed is manageable and you can learn as you grow and then add more beds later as your experience increases. Where my lot is here in Arizona, it's very rocky. When I dig a hole for a tree, I'm just basically pulling out rock after rock. And so to try and grow in that soil would be very complicated. Mel recommends Mel's Mix, which is still what I do today. And there's different ways you can do it, but it's basically a mix of compost, vermiculite, and either peat moss or coconut coir. You add those three things together and you get the perfect mixture of soil um, that plants are really happy to grow in. One of the key points with square foot gardening is to use a grid. Now when a bed gets kind of overgrown like this one is, you don't often see the grid. But if you look close, closely in all of my beds, I have square foot gardening grids, which are actually watering grids, that work as square foot gardening grids in each bed. One thing I love about these watering grids is not only do they divide up my space for square foot gardening, they also water the space so evenly. When I first started out, I had some beds with grids and some without. I utilized the space so much better in my garden beds with grids. The other ones had a lot of open space and I wasn't quite sure how to do it. My rows weren't straight. I didn't feel like I utilized the space as well. A common quote you'll hear from square foot gardening advocates is, if your garden box doesn't have a grid, it's not a square foot garden. And a grid doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be a watering grid. It can be as simple as string between two beds. It can be wood boards. It can be removable PVC. There are many options for a grid, but if you're really serious about square foot gardening, install some sort of grid in your beds. This really works for me because I am not the most organized gardener and having the grid helps keep me organized. Having a grid in place in my square foot garden is one of the most helpful aspects of square foot gardening for me. There's a reason that square foot gardening is one of the best selling gardening books of all time. It really simplifies the process and it works. So follow the directions to have a successful square foot garden. There are specific directions for um, size of beds, how deep they should be, spaces between the beds, and planting guidelines. When you follow the directions, you can be successful in your square foot garden. There never seems to be enough space in the garden, no matter how big it is. There is a simple solution, go up. Growing vertically allows you to grow more in less space. There's so many different options for gardening vertically. There's these trellises that I've made out of electrical conduit and pipe fittings. You can see here with cattle mesh, panels attached. There's all sorts of trellises that you can buy online. You can also make trellises. You can see these here on the wall. I use ladders as trellises. Use your imagination. There are so many things you can repurpose and use to help your garden grow vertically. Using the vertical space in your garden maximizes what you can grow no matter how big your garden is. Another tip with square foot gardening is to plant at the right time. 
And this doesn't just apply to square foot gardening, this applies to all gardens. This is where a lot of people, especially in places where it may be difficult to grow at certain times of the year, get into trouble. Places like Arizona, it gets really hot in the summer, so we have to adjust our planting times accordingly. Timing is so important. It's important to find a reliable planting guide for your area. If you live in the low desert of Arizona, I have planting guides that I love and use for vegetables, herbs, and flowers all on my blog. Planting at the right time helps you be successful. When you're following correct square foot gardening principles, things are probably going to ripen and be harvested at different times. When a square opens up, plant something. Clean out the debris from the previous plant. I like to cut most plants right at the root, leave the roots to add organic matter to the soil, add some compost to the top of the square, check my planting guide for what to plant, and then plant seeds or starts in that square. It's hard to see everything that's going on in this bed, but within this one bed, I have carrots, beans, tomatoes, several herbs and flowers, all growing together. So whether you're just getting started with a new garden or you've been gardening a while and you're looking for a way to be more efficient and effective in your gardening, give square foot gardening a try. I love using this method in my beds. If you have questions, Ask me in the comments, head to my blog. I've got a couple blog posts all about square foot gardening. Give it a try and I think you'll like square foot gardening as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching.